I'm so glad you could visit us here on the Octopod, Orson and Ursa. Uncle Barnacles, can we show Peso our new Polar Scout badges? Of course, Cubs. Peso, my niece and nephew have been working hard. Take a look. That's our Starfinder badge. We learned how to find our way using the North Star. And we got this badge for learning how to make a shelter out of snow. But you're really going to like the next one, Peso. The Seaweed Bandage Badge. <laughs> we learned how to make an emergency bandage out of seaweed. And we got to practice on a real live narwhal. Great work, Cubs. There are lots more badges that we don't have yet. And we're going to earn every single one, just like you, Uncle Barnacles. <clears throat> well, actually, I don't have every single Polar Scout badge. You don't? Really? Are you sure? There is one that slipped through my paws over and over again. I remember the first time I saw a walrus in trouble. Oh, my flipper hurts. I offered to help. Don't worry, I'll move. Move along, little polar bear. We walruses can handle this. Whoa! But I didn't give up. My tusk is stuck. I'd be happy to. Ooh, get back. Walrus emergency. And that's how it went every time. Just trying to. Whoa, whoa. And so I never managed to earn my walrus rescue badge. But now it's time for you cubs to earn your next badge. This one is for swimming through an obstacle course of ice flows. Let's go! Good luck, cubs! Here's your challenge. Swim through this maze of ice flows in under five minutes. I bet I can do it in four minutes. Bet I can do it in three. <laughs> Here we go. On your marks, get set. Huh? I think somebody's calling for help. It sounds like it's coming from the other side of these ice floes. Come on, Cubs, follow me. This could be a real Polar Scout emergency. And these paws are ready for action. Action! This ice hole feels smaller than last time. Keep going. I'm feeling cooler already. <laughs> oh, that's more like it. Oh, thank you, Shellington. Come on, there's so much I want to show you. Well, uh, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to have a quick look around. Great. <laughs> Follow me. Oh, you have to meet the others. Others? A little further. A little further. Jumping jellyfish. Shellington, meet the other microbes. There's so many of you. But how do you find enough food down here? Oh, we don't need food. We get all the energy we need from the rust in the water. Yeah, we eat rust, man. <sighs> Oh, that's Jeb. This is Shirley. Oh, and say hi to Alice. Hi, Manny. Yeah. Oh, hello. Pleased to meet you. I can't wait to tell the others about you. <laughs> uh, oh, if I can find my way back out of here. Was the ice hole this way? Or was it that way? Oh, that's not good. Uh, Mayday. Mayday. Shellington to Guppes. Come in, please. Help. Huh? Mayday. What was Come that? In, please. Where am I? Captain Barnacles, do you read me? Shellington, where are you? Captain, I'm in the lake. Tiny creatures. Captain, help. Yeah. <laughs> Quasi and Peso to the ice hole. Octonauts, Shellington is stranded down in the ice lake. We have to rescue him. The temperature is dropping fast. If the hole freezes over, there'll be no way to get him out. Then there's no time to lose. Quasi, you're with me. Peso, you stay here and keep your eye on the ice hole. Octonauts, let's do this. 
Oh, this is taking forever, Captain. I think I know a faster way down. Agreed. On three. One, two, three! Yeah! No sign of him, Captain. Shellington! Shellington! Captain Barnacles! Did you hear that? Nah, it's just the cold playing tricks with your mind. There it is again. What was it Shellington said? Something about tiny creatures. Follow those voices. Shellington? Oh dear. Shellington! <gasps> Shellington! Captain! Quasi! How did you find me? We showed them the way. That's Mervyn. He lives down here with all his microbe friends. The cold, dark water doesn't bother them at all. Hello. Hey. I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. Captain, come in. The ice hole is closing fast. Hurry. Quasi, Shellington, we'd better get out of here. Already? This is the most excitement we've had down here in like a million years. Maybe two. Thanks for your help, Mervyn. Don't worry, we'll come back and visit sometime. Bye. 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 Thank you. Now let's eat some more rust, man. Quick, before the hole freezes over completely. Peso, <laughs> lower the rescue line. Ooh. Right, Peso, pull us up. Hold on tight. Flappity <laughs> flipper! Peso, hit the brakes! Brake? Brake? Brake! Oh. Nice driving, Peso. Thank you, Captain. Octonauts, Operation Octo Walrus begins now. Let's go. Do you really think Tweak's costume will fool them? If it'll get my medical bag back, it's worth a try. Fair enough. Come in, Shellington. This is Barnacles. We're sneaking into the walrus colony now. Excellent. Now it's very important that you act like a walrus. Don't let them push you around. Huh, must be a new guy. <sighs> Walruses say hello by blowing in each other's faces. Blow back or they'll think you're being rude. Oh, um... <sighs> That's all you've got. Huh. Um, we need to blow harder. Everybody, one, two, Three. <gasps> now that's more like it. Nice to meet you. If you've got any extra clams, give them to the chief. He's hungry. We've all got to share our food until he feels better and can find his own. Right. Thanks for the tip. It's working. We've made it inside the colony. One of Peso's stickers. We must be getting close. Keep your eyes peeled. You're stepping on me tail. Sorry, but it's hard when they keep smooshing up against us. Ah, typical walrus behaviour. They love to get cosy and cuddle with one another. Cosy isn't quite the word for it. <laughs> That's better. Don't get too relaxed. Aye, oh, hey, what's this? A new guy? That's the one who took my medical bag. Come in, Shellington. We've got an angry walrus heading right for us. Jumpy jellyfish, it's a walrus challenge. He wants to see who's bigger and tougher. If we want him to tell us where the bag is, we'll have to challenge him back. We could be bigger and tougher than he is. Hop on me shoulders, Captain. Oh. Bigger. Are you okay, Peso? Um, I'm okay. Okay, okay. You're bigger than I thought. Where is the medical bag? M medical bag? It's white and uh, it opens up and inside... Oh, you mean uh, the funny white clam that I found? 
I gave it to the chief to try and cheer him up. Which one is the chief? The chief is probably the biggest walrus with the biggest tusks. Aha! Bring him on! Careful. Quasi, try to get back into position. Huh? I can't get back in position while you're sitting Ooh. on my... Intruders! Oh, run! Captain, come in. What's going on? Have you located the chief yet? Shellington, this really isn't a good time. <laughs> okay, Tweak. Let's see if your icebreaker attachment works. The ice isn't breaking. Pack ice is really thick. It takes a lot to break it. Open water. Now, if I can just get those belugas to follow me. Belugas, this path will lead you to open waters. Have to stay near the hole where it's safe and quiet. Belugas, please follow me before the ice freezes over. Oh, no. oh dear, this is not good at all. Hmm. The belugas don't seem to want to leave their breathing hole. If only they would follow Captain Barnacles. <gasps> I've got it! Fish biscuits! Huh? What's your plan, Quasi? Well, I reckon these belugas must be getting pretty hungry by now. So I brought them a little fish biscuit snack, courtesy of tunic. Belugas, follow me! It's fish biscuit feast time! Yeah! Yes, it's working! Now shiver, whiskers. Those little fishies think this is food for them. Go away! Go on! Go! Go! Leave it low! Belugas, follow me! It's dinner time! Too many scary noises have to stay by the hole where it's safe. Why aren't they following me? Belugas, like all whales, are scared of loud, strange noises. So, the sound of the gup sea cracking the ice and the sound of, well, quasi, probably scared them. How can we show them that this path to open water is safe? Professor Inkling, any ideas? I know exactly what sounds will make the belugas follow you. An old whale song recording. They'll hear their own sounds and follow right along. It's working! Oh, 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 oh. oh, my. We're losing them again. We've got to do something, Captain. The path is already starting to freeze over. That noise they make, that sounded a little bit like... Peso's music. Peso? We need you and your xylophone out here right away. Captain, are you sure this is the best time for music? This is exactly the time for music. Your music. Captain, I'm ready to play. All right, Peso. It's showtime. Hey. 
it's working. Peso's xylophone playing sounds just like the Beluga song. Have to stay close to the hole where it's safe. But those sounds are so nice. Have to breathe. Have to breathe. It's okay. We can breathe along this path. If we follow the nice sounds down the path, we won't be stuck here anymore. was built to break through ice. Penguins, this could get bumpy. Breathing tube! 
started and we will soon need air again. We're not giving up on you, Boris. Octonauts, we've tried the guts, but we need something even stronger to break through this ice. And we need it now. Captain, we could melt the ice with a blowtorch. Good idea, but it would take too long. Hmm. How about blasting it with a sonic slicer? The ice is too thick for that. I've got an old pirate cannon under me bed, but I'm all out of cannonballs. That's it, the bowhead whales. Tough enough to smash through just about anything. Good thinking, Tulip. Now all we have to do is find our new bowhead whale friends again. Let's call them back to the octopod by playing their songs. Try it louder, Dashy. We don't have much time. We need your help. Three narwhals are trapped in the ice and we can't break them free. Well, we bowheads are the greatest icebreakers in the seven seas. Ain't that right, boys? Yeah, that's right. right. You ready to take a ride, partner? Captain, help is on the way. Thanks, Dashie. How much longer? <laughs> Look! <laughs> We're going after them. There it is, Captain. Hold tight. You almost have them, matey. They can't get away from us now. have a problem catching up to them. When flying fish want to make a getaway, they leap out of the water. Oh, 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 oh. And look, they're gliding away. We'll never catch them now. Ow! Oof! Out! There's one that didn't get away. <gasps> Must get away! It's no use. I can't make it. Are you okay? No, I'm doomed. I'm a flying fish who can't fly. Oh, please don't eat me. Don't worry. We don't want to eat you. Ow! Oh, me tail fin. I smacked it on some rocks and now it really hurts. We know someone who can help you with your fin. Why don't you come back to the octopod with us? Uh, but Captain, what about the professor's book? Hi, we've got to find those flying fish again. Agreed, but first our new friend needs help. We'll let them know back at the octopod. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Peso, we've brought back a flying fish who needs your help. Aye, Captain. 
I help any creature who is sick or hurt. Now, what seems to be the trouble? It's me tail fin. <sighs> you need a bandage. Good as new. Oh, it feels better already. You should stay here and rest a bit before you take off again. Okay, thank you. Captain, the flying fish will be able to fly again in no time. Oh, flying fish. That must be the remarkable thing that my great-grandfather saw. I'll add that to his book right away. You tell him. No, you tell him. Ah, <sighs> uh, well, Professor, we sort of lost the book. <gasps> you lost it? But, but how? A school of flying fish came leaping out of the water, and before you could say Davy Jones's locker, they took off with your book. Oh, dear. I see. It's gone. But we'll get it back for you. On my honour as an octonaut, we will. Astronauts! Sea snails, help is on the way. Hmm. I don't have a vehicle, but I do have a rescue line. Keep pulling, Captain. You're doing great. You're almost free. You're... Oh. Right back in the blob of snot. Listen, everyone. What in the seven seas is that? It sounds like... Singing! Shiver me whiskers! Tune in! The sea snails! Rescue the sea snails! Stola? Camilla? Gorilla! Uh -huh. That's a one! Yeah, that's a one! These are the Ectonites.
a vehicle and rescue line beats a blob every time. <laughs> 